Hello, welcome to Wangel's A-Level Chemistry. I'm Mr. Thomas, I'm the lead teacher for chemistry here at Wangel's. Um, it's great that you're thinking of doing A-Level Chemistry with us. Hopefully over the course of this presentation, I'll be able to give you some insight into the structure of the course, uh, what we can offer you as a course provider here at Wangel's, and also what chemistry can do for you in terms of your future learning and careers prospects. Okay, so firstly, a little bit about our grade requirements for studying A-level chemistry at Wayne Jules. Uh, we require that you either have a grade six or above in GCSE chemistry or grade six, six in combined science. Uh, we also strongly recommend that you have grade six or above in maths at GCSE as there is a fair amount of maths content in the A-level chemistry course. The reason that we have these grade requirements is that from previous data, we've found that students who don't have these grades coming in can struggle to access the content and then don't fulfill their potential. So we do have these requirements for the course. At Wangels, we have three specialist A-level chemistry teachers. They are myself, Dr. Thomas, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Paul, and we are part part of a wider staff of five specialist chemistry teachers, each with their own teaching lab. We also have three wonderful science technicians who bring a wealth of experience and expertise to the department. And having worked in schools with smaller um, groups of technicians and less experienced technicians, I can tell you that they are an absolutely invaluable resource to the school. One of the reasons that chemistry is such a good subject to study at A-level is that it gives you a lot of wider soft skills that you can transfer into pretty much any job. You'll need good attention to detail for A-level chemistry. You'll be trained up in how to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. You'll need good discipline and organization to keep on top of your work and manage your time effectively. And you'll need to be able to work well with others and communicate effectively. In addition, you will develop more specialised skills as well, particularly in practical work. At its heart, chemistry is a practical subject and you will develop, you will gain experience in organic syntheses, purification techniques and analytical techniques as well. You will also gain experience in math skills, uh, for example, doing multi-step calculations, uh, converting between units, working in standard form and constructing and analysing graphs and you will also develop your uh, data handling skills as well, not only in recording your observations accurately from experiments, but knowing what to do with that data once you've collected it, for example, calculating any uncertainties and drawing conclusions from that data. As mentioned on the previous slide, chemistry is fundamentally a practical subject. All the theory that you study is based on evidence and observation. As such, uh, the chemistry course comes with a practical endorsement component. Uh, over the two years, there are 12 required practicals, which are known as practical activity groups, uh, which cover a wide range of apparatus that you might be required to handle and techniques that you might be required to use as a chemist. Um, in addition to that, we run many uh, practicals that aren't required, but we feel do enhance your uh, understanding of the theory that we study in lessons and also to develop your practical skills further again. Um, again, our technician team helps a lot with this. We've got a lot of experience and a lot of available practical work that we can carry out. At Wangels, the course we follow is OCR Chemistry A. Uh, we recently made the switch from AQA Chemistry and the reason that we did that is we believe that overall the OCR course will make you a more rounded chemist overall. Um, the first year content uh, AS is split into four different modules. These are development of practical skills in chemistry, foundations in chemistry, periodic table and energy and core organic chemistry. These then underpin the year two content, which is split into two modules of physical chemistry and transition elements and organic chemistry and analysis. We do offer the option to study a one year AAS course or the full two year A level. 
A little bit more detail on the core structure for AS level chemistry. Uh, the table on the left shows you the practical activities that you'd be carrying out in the first year from the practical activity groups. Uh, and it's worth noting that PAG 4, 9 and 12 actually run through A2 as well. Uh, the table on the right uh, shows you the topics from AS chemistry uh, and also the modules that they're from. So the topics highlighted in green are from the foundations in chemistry module the topics highlighted in blue are from periodic table and energy and the topics highlighted in gray are from core organic chemistry if you do decide to take the as course um, there is an assessment at the end of that one year and that is in the form of two written exam papers uh, titled breadth in chemistry and depth in chemistry both papers uh, assess all four modules um, they are 70 marks each and will take an hour and 30 and each one of them contributes 50 percent to your total as chemistry mark Going on to the second year of A-level chemistry, um, if you do decide to study the full course, the table on the left shows you the practical activity group work for the second year, uh, which is PAGs 6 to 12, and PAG 4 as well, which is also in the AS course. Um, and the table on the right shows you the topics from A2 chemistry. The topics highlighted in orange uh, are from module 5 which is physical chemistry and transition elements and the topics highlighted in purple are from organic chemistry and analysis at the end of the second year of a level uh, you'll be assessed in the form of three written papers uh, the first paper assesses content from modules 1 2 3 and 5 so focusing mainly on inorganic and physical chemistry uh, and the second paper focuses on content from modules 1, 2, 4 and 6, so tending more towards organic chemistry. Uh, the third paper assesses all six modules. The first two papers each contribute 37% of your total mark, and the third paper then contributes 26% of your total A-level mark. Um, the practical endorsement is awarded separately. Uh, it is not awarded as part of your exam, although you may be asked about practical techniques as part of your exam papers as well. Uh, for the practical endorsement, we'll gather evidence throughout the two years from the practical tasks that you carry out uh, in lessons, uh, and that will be awarded by the OCR after being reported by us. Post 18, an A level in chemistry gives you a lot of options, whether you're looking to do a vocational qualification, such as a BTEC, NVQ or diploma in something like applied science or environmental sustainability, or if you're looking to do an apprenticeship, for example, as a pharmacy assistant or a lab technician. Also, if you are planning to go to university to study an academic subject, again, chemistry can be a big advantage. If you're planning to study a subject like chemistry or biochemistry, uh, having an A-level in chemistry is essential, uh, and a lot of medicine courses also require an A-level in chemistry. Other subjects such as physics, biology, uh, environmental studies and engineering will also look very favourably on an A-level in chemistry. At Wangels, we have a wealth of online resources. Caboodle gives you free access to the course textbook, as well as access to a lot of other resources for the course. Focus e-learning uh, is something that we have a subscription to, which allows you to perform virtual versions of the required practicals if you did want to revisit them. And also Seneca Learning uh, gives you access to course content, which may be presented in a slightly different way, it's a slightly different way of learning, but a lot of our students find it very useful. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you have any questions or queries, please email chem at wangels.walkingham.seh.uk or tweet at wangelscience and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Chemistry is a great subject. Um, I hope plenty of you do decide to study it. 
And if you do, I look forward to teaching you next year.